Welcome to Land the House, I'm Seth. This is a tiny house I started building in 2013. Here in 2022, it's finally time to get this thing finished. In this video, I wanna do three different things. Number one, I want to take this remote switch from my inverter and put it by the front door so that we can walk in, flip on the power and be good to go. The next thing I wanna do is drive this earth ground rod because uh, it won't be long and it's gonna be time to hook up the electric to this tiny house. And I wanna make sure I have an earth ground. And then the last thing that I want to do today is clear out a few trees for a solar panel. So let me show you where that's going to be. So I've kind of tracked the sun and right over here is gonna be the best place to put that panel. Uh, so the sun comes up normally right there and uh, summertime tracks up pretty high here in the winter time, you can see it's right there and then goes down over there. So uh, you can kind of judge the shadow of the tiny house to see where uh, the uh, panel needs to be. So my plan is to cut out all these little scraggly trees over here and put the panel somewhere right in here. So the idea is I can cut these little trees down over here and maybe a couple of these branches up here so we'll have sun between about 10 o'clock and one o'clock, which is about where we are right there. The panel will only get a couple hours of sun, but there's not a lot of other options over here. I can always in the future uh, clear out some more trees and put in more panels if I need to. But I think for now, as little as I'll be using this place, having a single 180 watt panel right over here for a couple hours a day will be more than enough. All right, let's get to work. When you step into the tiny house, the electric is gonna be up here on the back wall. And I don't really wanna to have to walk over there and find the switch on the top of that inverter. So I'm gonna run the remote switch from this back corner up over, under this two by six here, across the door and come right down here to probably this spot right here. And so I wasn't exactly sure how to move that cord around I think I'm just gonna put a couple of these staples, which let's see if it'll focus here. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I've got some staples that I can use to keep that cord up along this door. And then maybe one over here in the corner, and then maybe one more somewhere uh, midway to keep that taut so I can get it over here. So anyway, let's start there first and get this remote installed. I think I'll start from the door and move backwards. So let's just put this right here and then we can put this cord right here and have it go up like that. I hope my screws here don't break this plastic. It's kind of thin. Yeah, we're good. There we go, that looks pretty good. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but I'm going to uh, take this cord and then let it go up the wall here. And I want to uh, put some of these little fencing staples in. Okay, and then I can go ahead and just start feeding this up to the top and then put another staple up there and we'll go across the door. There's probably a much prettier way of doing this, but I think this right here is going to be nice enough. So I'm just uh, gonna put a couple of staples right here and run it on off to the inverter, but I'm just putting a, uh, a single hole and then using one of those fencing staples to hold this in. Hammer it down real quick. And then I can go on to the next spot. There we have it. I've got the switch right here. So you walk in, you click that down to the two position and it'll turn the inverter on. So it goes up here, skirts around, makes that corner over there. Had to come down a bit there and then skirts back around over here to the inverter and goes right up in here. 
for the remote in. It's just the same thing as this right here, but it's uh, just extended out a bunch, uh, a bunch further. So anyway, uh, that's good. So now we have where we can turn off the inverter as we walk out the door or walk back in and have power in this little tiny house. Now for my next task, I've got this grounding rod and uh, this little grounding rod clamp. So I'm gonna either drive this down into the ground and right here is where my ground wire comes out. Um, so down at the bottom, I'll hook this up to the wire and the rod and uh, this place should be earth grounded. So anyway, let's see how well this thing will drive into the earth. Okay, I'm not very tall. Let me see if I can get this without a ladder. That's gonna take a long time there. So I brought out this uh, splitting wedge. Hopefully I can use that as a hammer. The question is, am I able to get up here enough to get this? Ah, let's try it out. Yeah, I think so. It's just gonna take a while. <laughs> Once it's a bit lower, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. It takes a lot of effort. Hmm, not sure if I like the placement of that grounding rod. Let's pull it back up real quick. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna have this go straight down like that. And so I'm gonna cut a little of this off and then strip it down. Okay, there's now a ground that goes from the main panel down to earth ground right there. I think that should be good enough. All right, so our next task is to get the saw out and go over here and just cut out all the little stuff that you see in here, uh, basically all the way up to right there. And we'll just clear that out so we'll be prepared for a solar panel. I'm using the Works electric chainsaw, which is quiet. so. I don't have to wear hearing protection, which is really nice. Several of these trees will be back as soon as it gets warm out, because that's just the kind of tree they are. But, uh, I should be able to keep them down pretty good once I got the big ones out of here. I believe that's good enough for one day. So I was looking at where my sun is and I think I'm gonna have to go pretty close to the shadow of the tiny house. Um, so basically if we look back up here, you can see this tree right here will leaf out and then we got this over here. So uh, my midday sun in the summertime is gonna be right up in there for just a short time. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, not make this solar panel mount locked down so that I can move it around and find the best place. Because here in the winter time, it's kind of hard to judge when the trees aren't leafed out. Um, so I just put it up here for now. And then uh, whenever the summertime leaves are in, we can find that spot that gets the most sun. It may not be any sun up there and we have to keep it out here somewhere. But anyway, um, so that's done, which means all three of the tasks I wanted to complete today have been completed. Let's walk in here and uh, just consider what the next step is going to be. So I have ordered the cables to go from the battery to the inverter. So we'll go from here to here and then back over there and get those wired up. Once that's done, we need to get uh, this wire right here into the inverter and then we need to get the panel outside and I'm most likely going to bring that in from somewhere down in here and maybe skirt up and then over 
to this charge controller. Uh, so yeah, and the charge controller, of course, will then have battery that skirts over here and uh, connects to that battery. So anyway, uh, that's what that's gonna be. So that's another project. Of course, I've got all this siding, which needs to uh, be put up upstairs. And then we've got the bathroom to work on. I'll have to buy more of the siding up in here and all, but so my first thoughts were, what if I put a little couch over here on this side or some kind of comfortable seat? Of course, it'll have to be able to fit through this door, which is very limiting. And then uh, I think I might put a little TV up on this wall over here. We'll have to see. Um, might be fun to have that. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, get to things like that whenever the time comes. Um, but for now, at least we have the inverter wired up. We've got our ground outside and we are prepared, hopefully, to put a solar panel out here. I'm Seth with Landa House. Leave me a comment down below on what you think about this little tiny house, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.